Daniel, another week, another game. How do you feel going into this one? Uh, we're missing a couple of players today, which is never, never easy, but we've got quite a big squad now, a couple of young players that have just come in, so we feel quite confident today. So just another week, we're starting to perform well, so we go again. It's the London Sunday Trophy Cup. Is this one that you think you can go all the way in? Um, when you look at the fixtures, I think the London Cup suits us best at the minute, but um, you never know, innit? On, on the day when it falls your, falls your way, a couple of people perform well, um, you never know. So hopefully we can go quite far in this one. You've got Alfie missing, a striker you've relied on quite significantly in the past. Are you worried about that? Um, no, no, not today, not today. If it was one of, the, one of the bigger Premier League teams, then maybe, yeah. But I feel like we should have enough today to, um, to score some goals. We've got, the, we've got the three young kids up front, um, Ard, Aaron and, and, and Shea, and they just run for days. So hopefully, um, hopefully we, can, we can substitute his goals with um, a couple of their goals. Well, you're playing Peckham Sport, a fellow Barnet Sunday League team. They're in the division below. Do you think that makes you the favourites? No. We played them before. Um, we lost against them last year in the Cup on pennies. They're aggressive. They try and get in your head. They're, they're very organised. And, um, and they do come to play as well. They've got a couple of good players that we know about as well. We played against them last year as well, twice, I think. Uh, one, one game we won and one game we lost. So, yeah, so it's, it's one of them ones, mate. You've got to turn up against these. So if you don't turn up, you get beat. Simple. All right. Finally, who, who do you think is going to make the difference today? Um, as the team, as the team, I reckon um, we can make the difference. It's, it, like I said, if, if, we, if, we, if we play well at the back today, I think the three young kids up front, they, they make the difference. They're full of energy, they've got loads of pace, so yeah. Big game coming up today. How do you feel it's going to go? Um, excited. So obviously, cup games are, you know, they're special. But, um, you know, we just want to get on the pitch, play the game, hopefully get the result. Um, and, yeah, go through to the next stage. Playing on the London Sunday Trophy, is this one that you think you can go all the way in? You, know, you always have to feel like that. You have, to, you have to think like that, the mentality. We've had a bit of an up-and-down season. So, you know, sometimes, you know, play has to be realistic. But, you know, you've got to try, you've got to give it your all. So hopefully we will go far, as far as we can. You're playing Highgate Albion seconds. They're in the division above you. Do you think that makes you the underdogs for this game? Um, it could do on paper. Obviously, uh, they got promoted last year. They were in our league last year, so we know them. We've played them. We've beat them. Um, so it, sh it should be an exciting game, you know. Uh, we're looking forward to it. It's a cup game today, a lot of excitement. Usually squads are quite deep. How's it looking for you today? Uh, this season has been a bit up and down in terms of attendance <laughs> at the moment. It's uh, looking bare skin and bones. Uh, so hopefully we'll get out 11 players. Um, but, you know, it's been, an, it's been an up and down season to be honest in terms of attendance. So um, hopefully we'll get the 11. Who should we look to on Pekka Sports squad to make a difference today? Today, to make a difference, I would say uh, Allah, Yusuf, Mert. But I don't really want to single out individuals, even though I did. <laughs> but um, yeah, all of the boys are great football players when everyone switched on. But those, those three players do make a difference. Welcome to the St. Aloysius playing fields. London Sunday Trophy Round 3 action and all BSFL affair. It's Highgate Albion Reserves against Peckham Sport. Highgate Albion Reserves are in the navy blue, managed by Michael Slowey. Their team lineup is Dennis Sinani in goal, a back four of Ryan Clark, Daniel Claude, the captain, Lee Scott and Tony Dowsett in midfield. Alalakan Ayaketi, Vijon Saintain and John McNamara. Out wide, Aaron Nella and Ard Beta. And leading the line, Shea Blackwood. Substitutes, Trey Thompson, Paul Reed, Luke Morgan, Morgan Peters and Luke Fitzgerald. Peck and Sport in the red. Their manager is Samet Gay Guzzus. And they are lining up with Bedri Karayaka in goal. A back four, Yusuf Chetin, Ergin Bilic, Kerim Gokcha, the captain, and Mutish Chakmat. In midfield, Yusuf Widji, Jakub Mamra and Ala Adin Widji. And then the two wide men, Mert Ozdemir and Mert Altay, leading the line, Murat Karagol on the subs bench. Just the one sub, Muz Elazwizi. Today's referee, Dimitri Anastasiu. Peck on Spore in the red, kicking from right to left, inside from Chakmat. Mamra over to Chetin, being closed down by Beta. Long ball forward. Making the run from the midfield was Ali Adin Wijdi. 
It's cut out by Ryan Clark. It's Wedge D again. Just tries to chip it over the top. Watched carefully by Glord back to Sonali. Long pump forward from Karayaka. It's helped on by Carrigal. Made a good start to this game. Of, uh, pack and spot and the attack with Dowsett having to do some defending. Drops down over the top of the crossbar from Jakub Mamra. Well, he had to watch it carefully, Dennis Sonani. These two sides accompanied one another in the BSFL Division 1 last season. Highgate Albion were runners up. Peck and Spore finished seventh, which is ironically where they sit at the moment in Division 1. Highgate Albion struggling to get going in the championship. This is Shea Blackwood. Wins his side a corner. Blackwood sends it in. It's a good header over the bar. That's a chance. Best chance of the game so far. And quite rightly, Karayaka was questioning his defenders. Where was the marking? Nella. Daniel Glord. Okay, Albion reserves captain. Has a look up. There's the ball through the lines into the midfield. Beta can't keep it. Yusuf Widgdy, one of the Widgdy brothers in the midfield. For Peck and Spook. And stab forward, there was no advantage, so a uh, free kick for Highgate Albion. It's Tony Dowsett, looks like he was going to take it, but he stepped forward. It's hung up high again, they're very deep inside that penalty area. Uh, Peck and Spore, but they've managed to deal with it, and they dealt with it very well, and they could break away here, which D. Osdemir, it's one back very well. By Nella. They win it back themselves. Peck and Sport. Forward by Wedgdy. Nearly a very good ball. Cut out well. Good defending by Haygate Elbion. Blackwood has a look up. It's a ball over the top. Look at that run from Glord. He's still up there. This is Glord. Off the post. So close to an opener from Highgate Albion reserves. Daniel Glord was still up from the previous attack and he found himself playing as a forward. He'd done everything right. But his shot come back off the woodwork. Aranella. Deflected off of Wijdeep and all the way back to goalkeeper. Karayaka. Well, this was the chance played over the top by Shea Blackwood. Couldn't believe his eyes. He was through. First touch is good. Takes it away from Jack Matt. And then hits the inside of the post. So unfortunate. about reaches the halfway line that kick from Karayaka having a good spell here Highgate Albion Ryan Clark being chased by Ali Adi Wijdi Clark falls as he turns and Wijdi got the all-important tackle in and now his brother Yusuf has it blocked out though by Saint Tain they had that really good chance with the header that was a free header that went over the bar earlier on Probably the best chance of the game so far, apart from the miss from Claude. Still hanging on in there. Gotcha. Centre forward filling in at the back. The captain today has given it away. This is Beta. Almost helped forward by McNamara. And a chance. Good goalkeeping from Karayaka to come out quickly and deny Nella. Here is Nella again. More good defending, though. And that's a foul by Shea Blackwood. Then the court in a Highgate Albion sandwich there. And there's a good chance for Nella. Takes a touch, everything's good. But the goalkeeper came out very, very quickly, Bedri Karayaka. And this was certainly a foul. Gotcha. Taken nicely by Ozdemir. Two goals in round two against FC Cricklewood for Mert Ozdemir. Here he is again. Off the pass from Widgdy. Out wide by Mamra. 
Too close to the goalkeeper. Sinani gathers it easily. Blackwood. Getting straight back to the opposition though. Cleared away by Chetin. Runs straight through to Lee Scott. Oh, he's put it straight past his goalkeeper. And he's got it. A calamitous own goal from Lee Scott, who turned it back to his goalkeeper, who went running straight past the ball, Dennis Sinani. And it's gift-wrapped Peck and Sport, an unlikely lead. No pressure at all. And it bobbles past the on-rushing goalkeeper. If it does hit the post, it will fall to Merrick Carragall to score an open goal. He didn't need to. An own goal and Highgate Albion reserves trailing. Currently sixth in the championship division, Highgate Albion Reserves. Three wins and four losses. Haven't really got going yet. St. Ain and Scott, and that's forward towards Nella. That's a good touch. Heading towards the top corner. That was a really good hit from Ard Beta. Goalkeeper turned it round. Claude, high hanging ball. Not quite so deep this time. Perkins spot. McNamara keeps it alive. Over the top, headed away by Ergin Billick. A little bit of time and space. Aaron Nella, can he get the cross in? He can. It was almost destined for a header, uh, for a volley from Beta. Hasn't been cleared yet. It's Dowsett. Bobbles through to the goalkeeper, Karayaka. Ryan Clark with a throw. Headed back again by Mutish Chakmat. He scored in the last round. That win against Crickerwood. Saint-Ain. Solid from Ozdemir. No foul, says the referee. Nella stays down. Trying to twist and turn Yusuf Wijdi. Eventually he loses out. Okay, Albion in a, in a real battle though. To try and get back into this game. Wijdi. John McNamara. Over towards the left-hand side. And Shea Blackwood. He's got Beta down the middle. Blackwood onto the right foot. Lifts it in. Chested back brilliantly by Bilek. Oh, it's not meets the goalkeeper. And there's the equaliser for Beta. We thought it was excellent defending by Bilek. But Beta read the situation and nipped in between the two and popped it into the net. And it's an equaliser for Highgate Albion Reserves. The cross from Blackwood. It looked like good defending. But it just dropped and... Beta done ever so well to read the situation, take it round the goalkeeper and slots it into the empty net for an equaliser. OK, Albion without Tash and Bradshaw Brown today. He scored two of their three goals in the round one with victory. Peck and Spore have also got several players missing today, key players on a holiday. Lost in midfield from Sentain. Chipped over the top. It's a useful looking ball. Got some defending to do here. Now, was that a foul? Murat Karagal turned around to the referee. He thought so. Ryan Clark was a judge to have just gone shoulder to shoulder. It was slight. It's definitely coming together, though. Throwing towards the edge of the penalty area. Turn back out wide. Clark with the cross, and the free kick is given by Dimitri Anastasiou. Bijan Santane. Goes for goal. Straight at the goalkeeper, Karayaka. An easy catch for him. Looked like a foul by Chakmet. The referees wave play on. Into the penalty area again. Kara goal. Just needed a touch. They were stretched to the tilt there, Highgate Albion reserves. Namara. Santane. Down the right hand side with Ryan Clark. Clark showing a clean pair of heels to Jack Mack, heading into the penalty area. Needs a good delivery. It's just dabbed away, and that's a really good block. And it's a right old scramble, and eventually the free kick is given. But they were all over the place there, Peck and Spore. The ball in was dangerous. Goalkeeper did push it out. It came to, to Blackwood. It perhaps should have scored. Nearly got a second bite of the cherry. But it was last ditch depending at the back there. Marmra, that Marmri was 
very much in the thick of it and there goes the half-time whistle peck and spore ahead but a calamitous own goal from lee scott but they did get themselves level through beta before half-time 1-1 at the break make bad passes it's one of them things don't throw yourselves off your games by arguing with the ref and arguing with them they want us to argue with them they've got another choice that's their game we keep working hard, we're down here now boys, yeah? Keep working hard, we get the goal. And then we, oi, when we get the next goal, oi, foot on next, we keep going. We do not let them think they've got a chance. Do you understand? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, boys, lads. that's it boys. First round. Wingers, we're getting the ball, and we're like, what? Mert, I, I told you a few times, you're cutting in. Bro, use the space, drive to the wing, use the space. Because when you drive, you're putting the defenders to your side, you're creating space in the middle for the so let's do that. Be smart, use your brain, use your intelligence. That's it. It's more I'm lively. I'm not hearing anyone talk. At the back, it's just Bedu yeah. calling the offside. Well, it's defence and mid. We're too fast and far, man. We need to get closer. Hey, coordinate. Yeah. Whoever needs to coordinate in the middle, coordinate because that's not what we're doing. We're leaving it for attacking just like. I'm just going to end it. Lively. Lively. Had it. I'm going to let him see. Game. It is level, it is a cup game, it will go to penalties if they can't prize themselves apart in the next 45 minutes. Here's Tony Dowsett. Championship side looking to get some early possession under their belt. Ayaketi. This is Daniel Claude. That big chance first half that came off the inside of the post. Smallwood's made the run. There comes a cross in towards the penalty area. Beta, good save, and then turned away by Chetit. Hasn't been cleared yet. It's a cross. There is the cross. Again, it's Blackwoods. Wouldn't sit up for Saint-Tain. Claude. There you get it. Clark forward. Something to run on to for Shea Blackwood. Easily cleared away. And then prompted forward by Widgety. And they're away here. They do look dangerous when they get away. Can they cause a problem? It's a good ball in. Couldn't quite get the touch, Yusuf Widgety. In fact, it was uh, Carragol, I beg your pardon, that runs on to the cross. And Carragol just seemed to hit him on the heel, then hit him on the hand. And the chance goes begging. It's given away by Trey Thompson, who's on as a substitute for Highgate Albion. Down the middle to Blackwood, cuts back inside. And the shot was blocked. Some brilliant defending there by Peck and Sport. Ayaketi. Ryan Clark. Daniel Claude. Hangs it in deep. It's a good run from the back. This is Tony Dowsett. Whacks it across goal. It just needed a touch. It just needed someone to commit themselves. Cleared away by Chetin, but that was a really good ball in from Dan, uh, from Tony Dowsett. Wedge deep. Again, the clearance isn't thorough. Drops to Blackwood. He can't make anything of it. Ayaketi bobbles through to Bedri Karayaka. Wijdy, I mean, the other Wijdy, Yusuf, can he get the cross in, Yusuf, Wijdy, again uh, prowling around in the six yard box was Murat Karagol, just wouldn't sit for him, to the penalty area, and that's Wizzy. corner, substitute winning the corner, in it comes, underneath the crossbar, it's a dangerous one, couldn't quite get ahead on it, Blackwood. Still no clear signs of which of these two teams is going to go through to round four. It's Claude. Scott. Again, good harassing by Ale Adin Widgety. And they can break away. Caragol. It's a great ball. What a chance this is. Alte hits the outside of the post, just squeezes the shot in. Ahead of McNamara. 
it's Highgate Albion this time that are saved by that same post that was struck by Glord in the first half. Good turn by Beta. Cleared away. And now the referees needing to step in. There was a little altercation. It was Carrigal that was involved. He's uh, stamped on there. I think it was an accident. But he still took exception to it. Yellow card for substitute Luke Fitzgerald as well as for Murat Carrigal. Balled out over nothing really. Long ball over the top. It's an interesting one. Got a goal. Gets the shot in. Bobbles across the face of goal. We're getting to the stage of the game where next goal wins. Hoisted forward by Daniel Glord. Needed to get some sort of contact on that. Well, that was beaten to it. In fact, it was Fitzgerald that was beaten to it. Free kick is given. Just uh, starting to spice up a little bit this game. Dimitri Anastasiu has control of the events in front of him. Thompson. Ball towards Paul Reid, but handball was given. Spotted by the referee. Paul Reid to take this free kick. Substitute. Could have gone anywhere, and it ends up just dropping beyond the post. Close chance for Highgate Albion. Reed cleared away. Not far enough, though. Back up in the air. Once again, Widgety. Now, Ali Adin Widgety. Shot from distance. It came off of the defender. It's Claude. He uh, receives it again from Sinani. And there goes the final whistle. It's ended Highgate Albion Reserves 1, Peck and Spore 1. And this London Sunday Trophy round three tie goes to penalties. First up for Peck and Spore. And it had in Widgety. He's had a busy 90 minutes in the midfield. Well, he's managed to put that one wide. Thought he'd sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. It's the wrong side of the post. Sees the goalkeeper edge towards his right. So he goes the opposite way. He puts too much bend on it. That's a call. Cool, confident penalty by Luke Morgan. And it's advantage Highgate Albion. Master Mayor. Again, very good penalty. Levels things up for Peck and Sport. Paul Reid. That's another good penalty. Goalkeeper guessed right, but he put it in the right place. 2-1. High above the goalkeeper's reach. This is Gotcha. And he's blazed it over, Gotcha. That really has handed the initiative to Highgate Albion. Got underneath it. Went for power. Well, if it was a foot lower, it might have taken the net off. Trey Thompson. It's another very good penalty. They're not letting themselves down from the spot. Highgate Albion reserves three from three. They have to score this. They need to score two and hope the Highgate Albion miss both their remaining penalties. And it's taken by Eloise and he puts it in the corner and he keeps the tie alive. To win it, Daniel Claude, the captain, hit the post in the first half. Well, he needed the post in that one as well, but this time it hits the inside of the post and goes in. And it's Highgate Albion reserves that go through to the fourth round of the London Sunday Trophy. 
scoring all four spot kicks. Final score at St. Aloysius playing fields. Highgate Albion 1, Peck on Spore 1. But it's Highgate Albion that win 4-2 on penalties. Daniel, great game, great performance. How do you feel? Um, I feel like we could have dead and buried the game in the first half. I felt like the first 25 minutes was on top of them. We didn't take our chances and then you let people go into the game. It's a cup game, they're going to go for it. So that's what happened. A couple of missed chances, couldn't get done in the 90, but a penalty shootout. Tell us about that penalty. I, last last week, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had a game against uh, Lurs Pack or whatever they're called, Lurs, uh, Larks Park or something like that. And I, I took a penalty, I went top right and I felt confident. Usually I'll go the other way. Uh, this way I told the players on the pitch I'm going to go top right again. But I was messing back so I was going to dink it, but I didn't have the confidence to do it. What, what was going through your head as you put the, put the ball on the spot? Score, we win. If, if, if I miss, we get another chance at least. But no, I, I was confident that I was going to score. I felt like a decent game, so I felt confident in my performance. If I had a bad game, you sort of go up there second guessing yourself, so. Well, you're through to the next round. How confident do you feel coming into that game? This is, this is the cup that I feel like we could, we could go far in and uh, stretch ourselves and, and try and win. I feel like we've got youngsters with, with uh, veteran players, so I feel like we keep our heads in games. We ride a lot, we've got to bury teams in cup games especially because they grow confidence and it goes straight to penalties and it is a 50-50. Uh, it was a, a defensive mistake that allowed for you to concede the goal. What was going through your head at, at that point, quite early in the game? Yeah, you, you, them things happen and then the other team, they, they grow confidence with their mistakes. We're in con well in control of the game at that point as well. Um, and it's hard to clear the cobwebs because you're blaming each other, you're all, having, you're all having throwing accusations around and all that sort. So at the end of the day, we just put our heads back on and we carried on going. And finally, who would be your nomination for the man on the match? Um, it's tough. I felt like Tony uh, Tony Dice had a good game on the left. I felt like Arda had a very good game. The three boys in the middle had a good game at the start. But I, 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 personally, I don't really do it often. I'll probably give it to myself. I'm not joking. I'll probably give it to myself. Fair enough. And then two rounds, two lots of penalty shootouts. Are you getting confident as a team now with penalty shootouts? Do you always want to reach them? Or is it something we you want to avoid? Don't, we don't want to go penalty. Anyone that tells you wants to go penalty shootouts, only goalkeepers. Only goalkeepers want to go penalty shootouts because they want the heroes. They want to be heroes. But um, in the next round, we need to bury the team in the first half. We can't be going penalty shootouts because you keep on doing it. Sooner or later, you're going to knock ride your luck. And it's, like I said, it's 50-50. Well, congratulations on the win. Thank you. You're through. Good luck next week. Thank you, mate.